uh, both of you um, dive for cover behind a parked car as a speeding car goes by uh, firing pot shots out the window in your direction. Your ears are still ringing slightly from the uh, gunshot inside your VIP lounge. Uh, but you did agree to meet up with uh, Mr. Nemo for this lucrative job that he's tried to line you up for. Uh, you're meeting him on your, sort of your home turf. You're only maybe three or four blocks away for the, uh, the meeting point. And um, who's going with you? Uh, well, I want to take as many people with me as I can because we're about to go meet some new guy who knows pretty much everything about us. I want like all the firepower I could possibly get. I'll go with. I as well. I'm going to take one of the, um, the cloaks. Do we have like jotunheim-esque cloaks with like the runes and stuff yet we should start out no. dang it All okay right. well i'm gonna take one of the homeless garbs and and put my rifle on my back and just drape over me okay uh yeah kaza i think you're gonna need to to get on that we're gonna need some uh some kind <laughs> of like you know uh logo apparel for the homeless Dru druidic robes yeah. to, uh, <laughs> we absolutely we absolutely need something that so that people can identify us like drones and police and yep mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. want that easy identification let's make it good for all good, i'm for saying is it would be a great star. community building exercise to start a sewing club is all i'm saying i'm just we could wear the silent peas gear. Zero, you can just come out and tell Kaze that you really want to learn how to fix your own body armor. It's fine. We could talk about it later. <laughs> okay, so you're taking the whole crew with you. They're pro probably like one or two of my lieutenants, too. All right. I, should, I, I just like guys that are packing. I want to make sure that there's like... <laughs> you you want to feel safe and secure. Well, on, yeah, on I mean, I'm, I'm not like that guy who gets shot at, you know. I'm the right. guy who tells everybody else to shoot at the guys. <laughs> makes perfect sense uh so you come up to this old abandoned storefront looks like it was maybe a bakery at one time or something uh pulled up out front are two large black suvs uh, and it looks like there are people inside and they've set up some makeshift lights they have construction lighting I'll just walk up with the group. Uh, do you have a permit to to be doing whatever it is you're doing out here? Uh, the uh, goons that are setting everything up just kind of don't pay any attention to you. Just huff in your direction. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, coming out of the back of the bakery, there's a guy in a fine tray chic suit that definitely looks completely out of place with everything else here. Ah, you must be the man in charge. He has a small cup of a hot liquid beverage in his hand. And he just goes over and sits at a table. <sighs> you're, uh, you're the guy. What was that? Speaking to this year, my other one's not so good right now. You're the guy. Of, of of course I am. I'm always the guy. Excellent. We're here to talk business. So? I would like for you to complete a job for me. Hmm. It pays handsomely. How handsome is handsomely? Ten large. Okay, and what do you want us to do for you? I need you 
to stop an individual from participating in an event. Who's the individual? What's Ooh, the event? No need simple. to be cryptic. Just spit it out, chum. Sure. He pulls up a briefcase. All the information on the individual that I have is right there. You can have it and use it. I need him to not attend the event that's coming up in a few days. Uh, can I take a look inside the briefcase? Yeah, it's not locked. All right. It's got uh, photos and a small short dossier. Looks like it's some big troll guy. It looks like a bruiser. has got tattoos all over his arms. Okay. Uh, does uh, it... One of his horns is broken. Okay. This guy. I need you to make sure that he doesn't participate. Don't kill him. <clears throat> but he can't participate in the upcoming event. I give a very knowing look and nod to, to Flounder. I'll give you half now, half when it's done. Mm. What do you say? What's the event? Uh, also <laughs> listed in the dossier, if you care to look through all the information. Yeah, I'm, that's what I'm, exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, he's listed as a high-level urban brawl player. Hmm, interesting. And the, or, event, the event is he isn't supposed to make a certain game, I'm guessing. He's not supposed to make a certain game that's coming up. Okay. Flounder That smiles. is going to be held here in Seattle. <laughs> okay. I, I see exactly what's going on here. Um, I'm glad we can see eye to eye very quickly. Hey. All the information should be right there. I'm offering half, holds up a cred stick, right now. Okay, so... Yes or you, no? You want us to... You want us to... Uh, stop this individual from attending this event and you're paying uh 10 large each uh half up front uh no problem you see that credit stick <laughs> 10 large each <laughs> whoa 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 uh no 10 period well i'm not sure that that's gonna be even worth our time at this juncture i uh... mean 10 10 doesn't go a very long way split you know six ways well, that's for you to figure out. This is the price that I'm offering. It's 10 or I'll pack up and move someplace else. I can roll negotiate with this guy. Yeah. Yeah, I got one. He got two. But he's not going to lower the price. It stays at 10. Oh, he's definitely not going to lower the price. You're going somewhere else. like, <laughs> And you'll be figuring out what else to do with this tonight. <laughs> uh, I know, right? <laughs> No, he's he's staying staying firm at ten. Maybe if you're able to be very creative about it, uh, or convincing enough for him to maybe switch teams, he could maybe think about uh, throwing you a little extra cred. Switch teams. Mm -hmm. Is that even allowed in the bylaws in Urban Brawl? Hey, some people go free agent all the time. It mm. happens. What do you guys think? This, this sounds like something you, you gentlemen want to do. I'm in. Yeah, I'm down. I got a couple questions. Uh, regarding information, I was told that you seem to know a lot about us. Is that fair to assume? He holds up his hand and one of his uh, guys drops a manila envelope in it. He throws it down on the table. Uh-huh. Go cool. ahead. I've seen plenty of little envelopes, friend. Uh, okay. If you seem to know so much, tell me one thing you know about me that maybe my chum is here though. I don't know your back history. I just know that you... Oh, so you don't know much hang about Hang out us. with your these lovely do. gentlemen and happen to do work hmm. with them at this location that has become sort of your commune hangout. Hmm. Okay. And I I applaud your ingenuity and camaraderie and how you managed to bring the place together and make it not so much of a dump. Well, thank you very much, I think. That Look, gentlemen, I'm very busy. I would like a yes or no for this, and I'll even sweeten the deal even more. If you are successful on this, perhaps... There'll be some future work 
or maybe I can do a favor for you. Well, the favorite thing is potentially very interesting. I'm I'm curious. I have one question before we we agree or disagree here. Who exactly do you represent? <laughs> uh, I re represent interested parties that uh, are backing the uh, other qualified urban brawl team that will be participating in this upcoming game that is absolutely the most non-answer i may have ever heard in my entire lifetime but it is an answer it's not a very good one i'm just know that i'm backing the opposing team all right listen we'll do this you job do for you. with that whatever you want we'll do this job for you mm-hmm but I'm going to want to know a little bit more about you before we do business again. I'd like to know, I'd like to know a little bit about my business associates. If you get my, I like to make sure that my associates can complete the work that they're given. So we'll Fair call enough. this a test run. Fair enough. I'll put this. He puts the cred stick down on the table. Here's the upfront payment. If you agree, you can pick it up and get started. All right. I'll grab everything. Let's go, guys. Gentlemen, it's been a pleasure. When you say everything, does that include the envelope? Yeah. No, well, I mean, um, oh, Loki. I don't know. Do you pick up the extra oh, yeah. manila envelope? Yeah, thing? Take, okay. I, take I was going to say, yeah. uh, take just in the, in the moment, maybe, if you just avoided it, and I'm just, like, standing there, and I, like, look around, and I'm, like, I begrudgingly take it. <laughs> okay, I don't take the envelope so care. that that happens. Thank you. Thank okay, you. well, there you go. <laughs> I'm just like, and I'm just like looking through it. I I, I have uh, a I have a non flashback every time I see a Manila envelope now. So I just needed to. That's, that's fair. Are you time working uh, the company. <laughs> uh, a lot of the photos are aerial shots of your compound. But they are. Uh, and then thermographic shots of you guys going and leaving. Uh, there's a couple that were traced all the way to. Uh, um, the death race uh and there were there's a couple of aerial shots of you guys in the uh red hot nukes uh garage area oh okay hey loki you sure we can trust this dreckhead no i'm not sure we can trust him at all but and i click the cred stick the new yen looks good Could look better. Well, same. This guy's also appears to have been following us for quite a while, keeping tabs on us. So at this point, I think if we didn't cooperate with him, he has more than enough to take the Lone Star and get us for a number of things. Or worse, so oh, another so cool. Flounder say, has the picture of the, the other troll, and he's like a challenge. He's just <laughs> smiling. I time I, to shine, kid. Uh, I he's think... a big old troll. He's got tattoos up and down both arms. They're a mix of like thrash metal bands, tribal. Uh, it's like just bad sleeve work. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. I think if this guy has the stereotypical across the knuckles, love hate. <laughs> I feel like if this guy's offering us 10,000 creds as kind of a test run here for him to do a job that doesn't seem too terrible all things considered and the potential for more work in the future as well as him not selling us out to a rival gang or any type of authority figure it seems like a pretty good deal all things considered oh, here's what i think we should do and mm -hmm. uh you let me know about how you feel about this split but uh i think each of us takes a thousand for this job and we take that extra and put it back into the community how to invest in local infrastructure well we do need electricity and i think that's going to cost so i've been i've been putting up a lot of my own new yen uh, lately to kind of bring things together over here and i don't mind doing it but uh having a little you know kind of stash that sort of pays for itself would be would be rather nice yeah that's fine with me i i also think that in regards to the electrical situation we might want to try to see if we can find somebody that could potentially connect us to somebody that works for the electric company. 
and see if maybe we could bypass our way into, you know, the grid and get power up and running that way rather than having to do any type of reliability on like a generator system. That's a fantastic idea. I think we should pursue that in the future. Okay. Excellent, excellent idea, Kaze. I, did, I knew we kept you around for something other than your, your amazing abilities with a needle and thread. I have my moments. So, so many things. He's probably, I, and no offense to you, Loki, this guy could sell ice to an igloo farmer. Is that a thing? Is that a thing? Do people farm igloos? Oh, I've done that before. Igloos? His name is Johan. We're good friends. We keep up with each other on the, uh, you know, guy. on Look the internet. Guy. You know, he's got he's got talents, but he's also got passions. Also, real quick, uh, GM man. Uh, yes. When I'm looking at the pictures of the aerial photos, do uh -huh. they align? <laughs> I have a complicated way of asking this, but I'm just going to ask the simple way of like, can I tell if this was the drone that was hovering outside our compound? Yes, it absolutely would have been the drone that's hovering uh, around the compound. Okay, I just want to put this on your radar, Loki. Guy said he'd give us a favor. It's clear he's willing to pay us a lot less than urban brawl players make in a month. But that being said, if he has or they have footage of our compound, they got stuff on us, mm -hmm. mayhaps we could consider, I don't know, wiping the slate clean. Maybe some of those photos gone forever. Do you really think that if... Uh... If we come to an agreement and he says that he's going to get rid of those photos, he's actually going to do it, I don't. It's more that I want to make sure that we're not just going to have a chain of multiple Drek heads that are like, oh, if you don't do this thing, I'm going to put I'm going to put you in jail. Well, he, oh, he never did say that he was going to do that either. Yeah, but he did not say that he wasn't going to do it. That's true. Mm -hmm. But he did not say that he wasn't going to not do it. This is what we call an unknown unknown. Things we don't know, we don't know. That's very smart. I like that. What we do know, we do know. Look, all I know is this guy's New Yen's good. And generally I... speaking, if you have somebody who is a good asset for you and can do jobs and things of that nature, you don't usually want to burn them for no reason. I, I, think, I think that the more reasonable thing to do with this is we can use our request favor to request for them to stop surveilling us now. In terms of getting rid of the existing documentation that they have, we live in the information age. That's never going to happen. They can get rid of everything that they have. That doesn't mean that there isn't somebody within the company somewhere that has a jump drive backed up with all this information on us, just in case they need and, it for a rainy day. So the I, surveillance doesn't matter. We shouldn't waste our favor on that because their yeah. surveillance is not is not going to be important enough. They're going to continue doing what they're doing. Um, Flounder's saying this while he's sitting over there stretching, like getting ready. Well, uh, that, that big fight feel. Yeah, so, yeah. I don't. I don't think we need to spend our favor on that. I think uh, when we go to pick up our new yen, uh, we'll just you know politely suggest that uh, yeah, keep your drones out of uh, out of Jotunheim. It's a it's a no fly zone, buddy. But if I we can... if we pull this job off, obviously it's going to be very lucrative. I mean, lucrative enough that. You know, throwing ten grand, uh, ten grand to some dreck heads like us to, you know, go babysit a guy for a day, is is going to be worth it. So that means that there's a lot of new yen on the other end of this, and that means this gentleman is quite connected, and uh, and potentially has has quite a bit of uh, well, we'll call it connections and and assets, but uh, you know, also hard cash to be able to throw around. That's the kind of guy I like to have a relationship with. So, Loki, I just thought of something, and I really don't want to bring this up, but it may be the smart thing. Um, is there any way to make this guy sick so he absolutely has to meet the, miss the match? I mean, I really, really would like the challenge, but if we want to keep it out of the public eye of, oh yeah, this guy was just assaulted, so he missed the match... And so yeah, we have... and if he's if he's a high profile urban brawl star, then obviously if he gets beat up, that's something that probably Lone Star or any other corp uh, corp like that's going to look into to try to figure out what happened. Inadvertent food poisoning might be the way to go here. I think Flounder might have a point. I don't know about food poisoning because trolls are too strong for that. Um, 
here's here's my concern is that well, uh, I mean, the trolls I mean, are pretty strong for any kind of you know like if it was a troll or a dwarf I'd be concerned about trying to introduce a toxin in order to do some kind of you know uh, nefarious situation uh, I, I don't think that that's going to be reliable enough unless you just put them straight out I was thinking tranquilizer we could also ask Doc if he has any suggestions. That is a good idea. Why don't we? Uh, why don't we head upstairs and uh, we'll go ask him, and then we'll, you know, we'll convene in the conference room. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, go upstairs oh. and go ask Doc. I okay. I I don't go with Loki, but when Loki goes in to ask, I'm just gonna try to like stealthily look into the room just to see if he's wearing the jacket I made for him or not. Oh, no, it's still hanging up. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm so sad that I had to suggest uh, that. One of these days. One of these days, maybe. Yeah, uh, Doc's out there just cataloging everything that you've got. He's started to get everything organized. Everything's going good, Doc. Do you need anything? Are you settling in okay? Yes. No, wait. No, I don't need anything. Yes, I'm settling in. Yes, everything's okay. Fantastic. I have, I have a quick question for you. <sighs> What's your question? It's a medical question, which is why I'm coming to you, because you're the medical expert here. So... Let's just say I have a very large metahuman who uh, maybe I would like to make sick. What would the, be the best way to do that reliably? How sick? Like, like coming out of both ends sick. Like can't can't get up and do anything for like at least a day sick. I, I, I overhear Loki say that, and from the hallway, I just go, and or unconscious. Uh, well, you can make anybody really, really sick if you feed them enough Ipecac. Do we have enough of that? I have, like, two bottles of it. I mean... I don't know if that's going to be enough. <sighs> I don't know how big of a person you're dealing with, but you, you know our other friend. Usually, half a bottle of this is good enough for anybody. You, you know, you know our other friend, big, big guy, tall, tall dude. Uh huh. Like horns and stuff, runs around yeah. on rooftops. Yeah, that, yep. like, so, like that size. Pretty sure half a bottle would do. Okay, can I can I have one of those? They're yours. Yeah. Asking me. For going on hey here. look i don't want to invade your zone okay this is like your little like area i'm trying to make you feel comfortable and you know uh, i'm gonna yeah, come uh, up uh, here uh, and start uh, grabbing uh, stuff i mean and it, in fact if anybody else starts coming up here and grabbing stuff or demanding things you let me know right away i'll take care of that for you okay this is your spot you're in charge will, up here i will let you know as soon as something like that happens all right sounds good thanks doc sure yeah uh, go downstairs Check in on uh, on Kevin and Amazing. All right, head on downstairs. Um, there's nobody in there. Amazing is gone. Kevin is also gone. There's been no word. Uh, nothing looks out of place. There's no scuffle. Hey. The bed is neatly made where Kevin was. Hey guys. Guys, uh, what's up? What's up? Did did Amazing take Kevin somewhere? What do you mean? Why would he take the traitor? I don't know. You mean he's not in the room? I'm gonna like duck down and look, look. in the room. <laughs> There's nobody in there except for Loki. That son of a wait, wait, are you invisible? <laughs> wait, did. Did you Kevin? Don't get, you don't get any response, but that I'm gonna, was I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna pick up a stick and just start like swinging it back and forth while slowly walking around <laughs> oh, the room. That's good. That's yeah. good. <laughs> Wait, you guys, you hit, what if you don't hit anything? What if Kevin kidnapped a magic? 
I mean, the mage is pretty powerful, so you would have to be subduing. Um, um, do you do you forget what happened in that apartment? Yeah, I'm not. I'm. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like if Kevin tried to overpower a maging to get him to do things, uh, I feel like a maging would fold like a house of cards. So, <sighs> you know, you all have such little faith. He is not some conjurer of cheap tricks. I have you know, he possesses great potential power. You just gotta a potential. You no know, potential being the key word in that statement, my friend. <laughs> Fair. So, yeah, we got an issue. This is All a problem. Said. Um, I'm going to... Do I still have, like, uh, my lieutenants, or did they, like, filter out back into the crowd as we came back? Uh, no, you still got one of them by. Okay, I'm going to have him put the word out to keep I'm an gonna, eye out for that dude. I'm going to text Amazing sure. and say, you okay, bro? All right. Text goes out. You, you don't get an immediate <laughs> response. I sent him a text message. Are you sure you're not invisible? And then the emoji that's like, hmm. The ghost emoji? The ghost, em the ghost, the ghost emoji. Yeah, yeah. I'm also like, oh, I got an idea. Let's check his aura. A mage get. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm. Don't know what you got till it's. Till it's not there, on? huh? Or at least invisible. Or at least Wait. invisible. I saw this on a really old movie. What if Kevin knocked him out? Uh -huh. After he turned invisible, he could be laying somewhere in this room, invisible, and we would never know. I have an idea. Is there like a like concrete dust or like any like you know like a pile well, of I, dust I can get? I was gonna go down to the kitchen area and grab a bag of flour and come back <laughs> up and just start. <laughs> sure, you can okay. start dusting or flouring yeah. the area however you want to do it. You you do the whole room. Uh huh nothing it looks like uh the episode or the uh the scene in the second ace ventura movie where he's dusting for prints yeah it yeah is. <laughs> yeah yes okay cool. all right we ruled that out he's not in here guys um, step one uh, nailed it i like to think absolutely nailed it we, we yeah we definitely we definitely managed to determine that he's not here um i'm concerned uh i'm gonna have my guy here put the word out to keep an eye out for Kevin because uh, I certainly don't want him coming back after what we just did to him. That's not a loose end. I like. Why did we not tie him up? Didn't what were we supposed to tie him up? We did. I feel tie like I said we, we did, and then tied and then we untied him after yeah. he got looked at by the doc because huh. Kevin. You is did our friend. what? Kevin is our friend, you guys. Okay. I, I, I feel hey, like look I at me. Him tied up. Big troll man says tie person up. He's dangerous, and you say <laughs> we got this. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I'm. I can't handle this. I'm gonna. Where's the Where's the poison? Bro, we don't have poison. <laughs> whoa, whoa, that's not for <laughs> Kevin. Remember that it's not for Kevin. But he, here's this bottle of this stuff that will make him throw up if he consumes it. Guys, I'm thinking we just, uh, you know, do this thing old school and just stuff this guy in a trunk or something. Whoa. That is weirdly directly violent. I, I, I like the concept of being able to kind of hands off this one. I'm not going to lie. Wait, you're giving me permission to go hands on? Yeah, have you ever needed my permission before, Flounder? Well, generally, you frown every single time. Wait, wait, wait that's, not, that's not the question I asked. Have you ever needed my permission before? Needed, no. Have you ever even asked for my permission before? Like once. Like once, yes, exactly. exactly. Mm -hmm. Flounder gonna do what Flounder gonna do. Question, <laughs> how hard would it be for me to get registered to be in a match? Uh, at this point, at the level that this guy's competing at, it would be difficult because you'd have to go and find the rival team that's going to be playing and then request sponsorship and then they might not even put you in the match. The first yeah. one. I I think uh I I think that we just go old school here and find this guy and stick him in a trunk somewhere and drive him back to a place and hold him for a day, and he just misses the game. He just doesn't show up, and then we could just let him go in, you know, like blindfolded in the middle of nowhere or something, and let him walk home. 
Loki, why is answer number one always just kidnapping with you? I just, I'm just, I'm curious. Hey, look, if there's a, a couple of things that I've learned, uh, kidnapping, fires, riots, all of those things work really, really well when you want to do something that's less than savory. So, so many questions. So many. I want to trank him. I'm going to pack my rubber bullets just in case. You get uh, Narcajet. Narcajet is a, a pretty potent um, knockout drug. While this is happening, I'm going to crack open the briefcase because we haven't looked at any of this intel yet. <laughs> sure. The guy is pretty easily recognizable with the broken horn uh, and the tattoos that go all over his arms, up onto his back and everything. Um, the dossier that they have compiled has what he's known for, why he's popular in the, the urban brawl setting, uh, that he's usually one of like the linchpin players of the other team. We have a name. Uh, he goes by... Let me get this... So, in Urban Brawl, he goes by Crusher. How did we go this far into this conversation without ever actually knowing his name? Uh, because what we did, never what did opened we do? the thing up. Like, everybody was just like, <laughs> oh, yeah, let's get some, some Ipecac and we'll poison him. And, like, we're going to knock him out and trank him. And, like, maybe we'll, like, do this thing with the gym. And, you know, I just went. You're I just literally went the problem. person who grabbed the Ipecac. You guys were saying, like, hey, we should poison him. You guys started this before we even got back here. I was like, Great. all right, I'm just going to go with it. Like, I'm going to go with it. This is Loki pushing blame again. That's um, what happened. What else is new? Just another Sunday. <laughs> uh, he does frequent. Um, there's three different gyms that he goes to downtown. Uh, not on the set schedule. Uh, he is also reported to live uh, somewhere downtown. They don't have that information at all. They don't have the exact location. Okay. They know he lives somewhere downtown. Uh, he frequents these three gyms. And then they give you his physical description and his capabilities. All right. What, what are his capabilities? He happens to be uh, an expert hand-to-hand -hand combatant. There's video files that are included of him just wiping the floor with people that go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him in Urban Bra. Hmm. He's definitely smashed a few skulls into buildings. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Flounder over here chomping at the bit you already. You very excited about this, Flounder. <laughs> you see, I see Flounder watching the video, and then I look around, and I'm like, did somebody open up a window? It seems like it's kind of cold in here based on Flounder. Uh... <laughs> um, I can't really I, tell what's right, going I, on. I have an idea. I actually have an idea of a way that we might be able to... Uh... We might be able to pull this off in broad daylight. Okay. So, okay. okay. Hear, hear me out. Hear me out. Um, have you ever seen any of those, like, uh, those viral videos? Like, uh, the, uh, the, um, uh, like Whirl, the, the, the Neon the, Cat? No, the, the Coral Star hip hop, uh, videos. We, we might be able to, um, we might be able to do something, uh, a la the, uh, the old school fighter, uh, Bimbo Lice. If you're familiar with him, a uh, legendary street brawler. Uh, maybe we can do a thing where, like, you challenge this guy to, you know, uh, like, say he's not real and that, like, urban brawl is all fake and that your ring is outside and, you know, kind of like that movie Blocky Five. Um, yeah, like, uh, you know, and, and maybe, like, kind of, like, put his... Uh, his manhood into question and act like we're like filming it and then when we get him out into the alleyway you know we just jab him with the you know thing the sleepy time juice and then 
Yeah, then the, then the trunk thing I was talking about earlier. I like this plan. I think this is a good plan. What do you, what do you guys think? Always comes back to the so, trunk. So I get to fight him? Sure. Do you want to fight him? Yeah. Okay. Hey, you might be, you might wind up uh, being a a, a trivia star on on a on Quarrel Star Hip Hop. I might. Can I meet Buck Fidel? Uh, sure. The ice box? <laughs> yeah, him. Pr- probably. It just depends on on how many hits your your tridio gets. Oh man, that was a ride. I mean, I mean, if you can get in, if you can get in with the ice chest, then you're probably only one step away from being able to meet Bork Laser. Mm, mm-hmm. Bork Laser, what a legend! All right, well, uh, I think we should go check out one of these guys' gyms, and maybe we can catch him after a workout or something like that. I'm ready. Okay, uh, we need a vehicle. It's a, we have a. It's a shame that we had an inconspicuous vehicle until somebody shot at a Lone Star drone out of it. Kevin's vehicle? Why don't we just use our battle wagon? Because I said inconspicuous vehicle. <laughs> Something that's not going to get us arrested when we drive it downtown. I mean, I think it looks good. I'm sure you do. However, everybody else is the people that we are worried about right now. Sounds like you're afraid. I am not going to even dignify that with a reply because you and I both know that that is simply an attempt for you to manipulate me and everybody knows that I am the one that does the manipulation around here. Wow, you're right. He is pretty smart, Kaze. As is moments. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, well, find a car. Yes, I agree. Let's find a car. Yeah. The Touristville. That's that's where you're gonna find the most yeah. usable vehicle. <laughs> that's close by. Okay, guys, go steal a car. Who's who's going to steal a car? <laughs> Why don't we just you know rent one? Yeah, you could do that too. Or or you could rent one. Sure. Anybody got a sin? Anybody? Anybody I do. Kazi, go rent us a car. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know if we could transfer, but I have an Ebony Credstick 5 under the name Petey Williams. Oh, Um, well, there you go. You you can do that. That, that, That's your sin. Jesus, bro. I I don't. It's been sitting in my inventory (laughs) for a while. Hot while. So you got an Ebony rating Credstick. You can get us pretty much anything we want. I don't even... I don't know how these things work. So, uh, the rating of the cred stick basically dictates how much money can be on uh, attached to it, or moved, transferred back and forth. Uh, uh-huh. uh, Ebony uh, is one of the ones that has the uh, like the no limit. It's like. So this is where all my New Yen went. <laughs> yeah, yeah dude. to uh, to uh, an account that uh, uh-huh. is encrypted with uh, some of the highest security as well. Because if you go to a bank and try to withdraw uh, New Yen with an ebony cred stick, there's uh, a retinal scan, a fingerprint scan, a oh. voice scan, oh. and a um, and a password with an ebony rating cred stick. So that's all linked to you. You'll have a retinal, a fingerprint. It's all so, linked. I- to what, so what your current give stuff this is. To Kaze yeah. To uh, be... Silver just has, I think, uh, thumbprint and voice. I'll have to confirm that. As long as I don't have to have long chats with the salesman. I would no, let it be don't. known, Kaze, I would rather you're the one doing this. I don't want to talk to people right now. I don't want to talk to people most times. But um, it's somebody with the with the sin has to rent the car if you're renting a car this is the burden i must bear i will rent a car okay go into the tourist touristville rental agency uh, <sighs> ah. <clears throat> 
Uh, what's the name on your, your cred stick? P.D. Williams. P.D. Williams. Uh, as soon as you walk in, there's a like a flash that goes over your eyes. Welcome, Mr. Williams! Sales rep comes right up to you. What can I help you with today? Uh, hey, I'm just looking for a, a car. Just a normal car. Just need it. <laughs> Aren't we all just looking for a normal car? <laughs> what yes. uh, What do you need the... Uh, panel van. What do you need you the vehicle need for? a panel van. I need a... <laughs> I remember in our previous conversation, <laughs> I need a panel van. You know, oh. I got a couple nieces and nephews. We're just going to go around. We're going to be doing some um, sightseeing around. Uh -huh. um, might uh -huh. do some... I have some old friends here that need a, a way to commute around town, you know. Right. It's gonna be a utility vehicle, nothing too flashy. Uh -huh. Well, do you need the the van to have uh, extra seating since it sounds like you have a lot of people that you're gonna be taking around to see the sights? What do you say? Can we say that I I have these guys like on 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 the phone with me? Like you can have them on the on an earpiece. Okay, cool, because so I don't I don't. This. I don't want to screw this up, and I, I want to make sure that I get all the things that we need. So, so you gonna... guys get to hear this whole sales pitch and him talking to me. It, yeah. it looks less suspicious, and I can cram myself in the back. Uh, yes, I would definitely like plenty of seats. Okay, plenty of seats. Spacious, you know. Right. Sounds like you have a big family here. That's really nice. Yep, a lot of extended relatives. Uh huh. You guys from the Yukos originally? Uh, we're from all over. You know, we're a bit of a found family kind of thing. So nice. It's wonderful. We have great sites around here. Are you going to be going to the Fort Lewis Botanical Gardens? Oh, absolutely. You know, uh -huh. yeah. uh, oh, got to my... try to get that space needle too, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know it. It's the oh. big attraction. Uh huh. Yeah. All right. Will we be needing any kind of special permits? Uh, just in case. I know I have. It's probably unlikely, but um, were you also planning on making a small trip at all to uh, Council Island? Hmm, let me think about that. No, no, it's fine. No, you don't. No, need, you no. know, not this time around. We already have a lot on the docket. But okay. That That's dossier? understandable. I mean, there's so much to see. So much. Don't forget about the paranormal zoo. Oh, downtown. that was going to be the first thing uh, you checked out. Yes. All right. Kill me. Sadly, you won't be able to experience the great shopping experience that is the Renraku Arcology, as the Arcology is currently closed. Really? Yeah, all over the news. Yeah. Can't believe it myself. I was hoping to be able to get an apartment there, but... um. I missed it by that much. Tell him I tell you. Are you going to want the full insurance on the vehicle? Tell him you bet that he could probably get an apartment pretty cheap there now. I'm thinking that he could probably get an apartment pretty cheap, you know, once it opens up a bit. Oh, um, yeah. uh, maybe. But are you going to want the full insurance package on this vehicle, sir? No. No, I think we're good. I, we're very, okay. I'm a very defensive driver. That's good to hear. All right. If you could just slot your cred stick into the reader right there. Uh -huh. Alright, what's the rating on your cred stick? Five. Here we go. So you're rolling for how much money is on there or something? Uh, no, I am rolling because it's going through a cred stick reader. Uh, uh -huh. It's going to confirm your identity. Sick. Alright. Hmm. That's interesting, sir. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, no, it's just going to take me an extra minute to get the vehicle pulled around. Can we go ahead and try and slide that one more time for me? Uh, yeah, definitely. All right. There we go. Just having a little technical issue pulling up your information here. Oh. All right. And finally, sir, how long will you be needing the vehicle? Uh, you know, I'm thinking about a week, maybe two weeks, just, you know, just to be safe, just in case we want to stay a little <laughs> bit longer. Well, one or two. <laughs> two. Two weeks. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Our two-week rental package uh, with no insurance is going to bring you to... 
1,000 new yen even. Oh, well, what do you know? That sounds like a great deal. All right, if you're okay with that, I'll go ahead and give the green light to go ahead and uh, deduct that from your cred stick. Is that all right, sir? Absolutely. Okay. And just for funsies, what color did you want the vehicle to be? Gray. Okay. All right, Mr. Williamson. Well, uh, I'll get those keys there for you, and we'll get that vehicle pulled around front, and uh, you'll be all set to go. Ah, Is there anything fantastic. else I can help you with today? Nope, you've been so helpful. Thank you so all much. All right. Well, we appreciate that. Hopefully, we'll see you in the future, and hopefully your family has a great, great vacation. Oh, we are going to have a killer time. Uh, 30, 40 minutes later, they pull around a gray van. Round to the front. Guy gets out. Hands wow. keys. Fantastic. Okay. <laughs> and I'm, I'm ringing. I'm, I'm still on the line with these guys. Uh -huh. Never make me talk to salesmen again. I swear. I swear. I swear. <laughs> I got the, I got the, I got the van. Where, where do we need it? Thanks, Uncle uh, the Zero. The van actually smells of fresh cleaner. Mmm, love it. Thanks, Uncle Zero. You got it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just... Are we all going in one vehicle? Is the idea that we're gonna go to one gym? One gym. Yeah, Jim Smith first, before we go to Jim Johnson. Mmm. <laughs> I think Jim Francis is gonna be the key here, but... Uh -huh. Uh, so, okay, another thing I was thinking, and I'm not going to throw a wrench in this, but I'm thinking that if we're going to just be staying at one gym, we only got six days, we don't know when he's showing up, we don't know which gym, if we somehow will split across several, maybe we could talk, you know, we could start bringing up the, the murmurs about this, you know, this um, fellow troll who says he ain't Drek. Well, he, he was, here's what I was thinking. I was thinking we mm. just go from one to the next to the next and then just leave a phone number and, you know, basically be like, uh, yeah, he, he won't call. Like, he's it's, it's not even real. He's a fake fighter. And then just leave the phone number. Let Loki do the talking? And naturally. Okay. Is it possible? Okay. Oof. It's going to hit a bit of a nerve. But what if we... Is there any dirt on this guy? Are there any controversies going on that we could use to like really just seal the deal? Really go to are you gonna dive into online matrix forums to find out? Uh, yeah. You have a way to get a matrix connection going. Or you could do a regular matrix search without being jacked in. You just have to find a cyber cafe. What if we ring up uh good old AJ? Do you wanna pay him to do that? <laughs> You could always pay him to do that. You guys already owe him a favor, yeah, I was, remember? I was, I was just about to say, we owe him some money still, so. Or we could just Ugh. type the guy's name in. I'll just go to a cyber cafe and type the guy's name in. While you're here in Torstville. Yeah, why not? Okay. <laughs> Flounder's just going to do a matrix search here. Okay. Um, Flounder, please roll me your technical skill. Oh, in, no. uh <laughs> where is it it is technical computer please roll me your computer what if i don't have computer? you don't have computer you default to your intelligence uh, um, um, uh, <laughs> hmm. I, I imagine that's how the matrix search is actually going to be going it's going to be, uh crush your starts he's, with he's a, definitely a one finger typer starts with the c it's a, it was a well, first he has to get a troll modified keyboard. Do or else I? he's pressing too many buttons with one oh. finger. <laughs> I got this. Uh, yeah. Let's, well, All right. So I'm, roll your intelligence. Uh, yeah, he could find a uh, a fight forum online, and uh, they're arguing back and forth about different urban brawl teams. Uh, a Crusher's name comes up a couple times. Um, he has a small fan following, but uh, from what you gather from the searches, um, he's still making a name for himself in the Feathered Serpents. But we, uh, people we... are kind of starting to get ramped up for him. There's a, a lot of PR out there that's uh, trying to hype him up. 
Is it hard to make a post? No, anybody can post. So just anonymously make a post. Be like, I heard yeah. the only reason why he's even getting anywhere is because he artificially made his muscles, if you get what I mean. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Is it, get, frowned, uh, is it frowned upon to be cyber enhanced? No. No, not at all? Not for Urban Brawl, no. Okay. You can be mystical or cyber enhanced. So people will be like, yeah, but what about those cyber guys? They're definitely choosing too. And that they're going to be at least twice his size. Are you really going to RP arguing with people on the internet for it? No. No, I just, <laughs> I've not. given him like an example I can see of this. what's being I can see the gears working. Like, what am I gonna? To what am I gonna reply? Like, hang on. Like, how can I? How can I dunk on this dude? We don't have enough Russia time. Russia sucks, lol. <laughs> we don't have enough time. <laughs> and you don't have those leap matrix skills either. You spend like flounder. thirty minutes typing one. Flounder, what gif are you gonna send him as a response? <laughs> Pepe. Obviously, obviously, obviously. All right, 100%. Well, can, can we get a uh, can we get on with the getting on? Get over to one of these uh, these gyms, you guys. Let's go. All right. Sure, I'm ready. Uh, so the three gyms that he he frequents is one is called New You. Uh, the other is the Dragon's Dojo, uh, and the the last gym is uh, Breaking Your Back. I guess we just start in order of which is the closest or something. Sure. So the closest one oh. coming from Taurusville going into downtown um, would be the Dragon's Dojo. How far are you guys? How far away are they from each other? everywhere. Buildings much taller than what you're used to. <laughs> how far away are all of the gyms from each other? Uh, they're all within an eight block radius. I mean, why don't we just post Loki and Zero at one, me at another one, and Flounder at a third one, and then as soon as somebody sees him, we just call in which Jimmy's at. It's much easier than staking out. Well, I figured they were going to be a little more spread out than that. Eight blocks isn't that far, so yeah, I like that yeah. idea. I like that idea. He keeps it relatively close. Okay. That means he must live somewhere yeah. close by, too. The, the Dragon Dojos, the, like a fight training. Uh, the Break Your Back is weight training. And uh, the New You is like a spa. Ooh, I call New You. I guess I'll take the Dragon's Dojo or something. Or wait, wait. Okay. I should probably take Dragon's Dojo. Yeah, yeah. You go go, go ahead and uh, do that then. I'll just, I'll take, I don't know. I don't care. Whatever. whatever. I'll take whatever one that's left. Break your back. Break your back. Sure. Okay. With zero. Okay. <laughs> I'm not getting into any fights, dude. <laughs> we're not. We're not planning on it, but just in case, I'm just saying, just in case, because you never know what could happen. Hey, look, I just it would be a good idea. And yeah, that's... my super warhawk and be like, look, you can handle whatever comes at him. I'm a professional. Yeah, all right, I'm sure. When six dudes no, try to jump no, you in an alley and you have your just super burst out. Loot star. Yeah. yeah. It's six six dudes, sure. six bullets. I got this. Okay. All right. You know okay. what? Zero, you go where you want to go then, man. Don't let me shoehorn you. I feel like, you know, I can learn a thing, a thing or two hanging around Loki. So I think I'll just keep him company. Oh, thanks, buddy. Okay. Okay. Go, we'll just go in order here. So starting at the, the Dragon's Dojo. Uh, Flounder, there's only a, a few people here by when you guys come to stake it out. Um, you, you don't see him here. I can... It's almost like uh, <laughs> when you come in expecting to see a bunch of big bruiser training guys, there's a group of 12-year-olds. I can still train. Yeah, there's uh, training dummies and like speed bags and. Uh, I assumed that Flounder was weights, gonna not a whole lot. train on the twelve year olds. <laughs> I could do that too. <laughs> I'm gonna teach you 
some things today, kids. He's, he's, he's channeling his inner Anakin Skywalker. He's just trying to... Oh, boo. He just wants to take the younglings under his wing, man. I don't understand. Moving on to New You. Uh, so, when you get to, to New You, Kaze, uh, there's a small waiting area out front, and then it goes back into a bunch of private rooms. Okay. Um, I mean... You are I... greeted by a receptionist asking if you'd like to set up a, an appointment. Uh, how many days out are we from the fight right now? Are we still six days out? Yeah, we still got six days. Okay. Um... Hmm. Yeah, let me set up an appointment four days from now. Four days from now? Yeah. Sure. How, uh... This 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 place seems pretty popular from uh, what I was able to gather online when I was looking you guys up. Do you guys get like a lot of big name people coming we have through? A unique, we have a unique clientele. I mean, I feel like every place has a unique clientele. You know, that's mm -hmm. that's how a clientele basis works. But you know, I just I, we don't like to flaunt our members. That was low hanging fruit on that one. So easy, and I don't appreciate it, but it's fine. Uh, okay, that's, you know what? I respect that as a business practice. You know, I've just, I've recently gotten really into urban combat with my, with a buddy of mine. It's, I, and, you know, I just, I've been following a couple of teams, and I've seen uh, through their uh, social media posts that this seems to be a pretty popular place for some of the guys to come through. So just, you know. Was was wondering said, if there's any validity to that. Very unique clientele. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. that's fantastic. People from all walks of the uh, combat scene. Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. Very cool. All right. Well, I appreciate the help with the appointment. Uh, uh -huh. And then we will give you a call to remind you of your appointment time. All right, fantastic. And then I'm gonna leave the building and just go across the street from the door and just kind of mm -hmm. hang out on my bike with the helmet on, so I have my visor down, so it's covering my face. But I'm just okay. gonna kind of hang out on the bike and just watch and see if. All right, how long are you gonna hang out there? <sighs> so, however long I got, man. Yeah, you know, okay. I am not sure. pressed for time. Right now. All right. Um, so three or four hours of just hanging out there, uh, <clears throat> and you're just kind of sitting on your bike across the street just kind of waiting you get a tap on your shoulder yes <clears throat> points to his lone star badge <clears throat> mm -hmm. got a got a hot date oh that was the hope but i gotta tell you i've been waiting out here for quite a while i'm starting to think that maybe that's not gonna be the case you know ah hate to see it you hate to see it chummer mm -hmm. um all right just uh you know just checking getting got some concerned calls just wanted to come and make sure so uh you know hopefully she shows up but uh if not i'd say give her another like 30 minutes and then i'd clear out oh yeah okay not a problem i appreciate it officer right. thank have you have a great day hey you too all right i'll hang out for another 30 minutes and then uh <laughs> okay all right uh, heading into breaking your back, you're immediately hit with the warm smell of unwashed bodies. There are a few people that are working out here. You have uh, the stereotypical old guy from Rocky just yelling at people about how to lift the weights right and that they're doing everything wrong. And back in his day, you didn't need the fancy combat drugs, or you, you didn't need this fancy magic. Okay, I'm... Uh, he has a wall of, of fame as well. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Who's uh, who's on the wall? Uh, so he's got... Uh, he's got a couple guys that are famous from Urban Brawl. He has... The stuntman from Carl Combat Mage. Uh, uh, he has a few sim uh, sim stars and one or two action stars as well. Okay. 
impressive resume. And he's just he's just yelling at people while they're in the <laughs> ring, kind of leaning up against the. Uh, he has a small like boxing ring, and he's just leaned up against it. Just you don't know what you're doing. Well, Zero, I think this is probably the place. It appears that they're doing the things that somebody in urban bra would probably do, I think. Yeah, totally. I'm like fixed on the stunt man for Carl Combat Mage. <laughs> Zero. Uh-huh. Snap yeah. out of it. Yeah. Snap uh -huh. out of it. Yeah, what's up? I'm on it. What's up? What what do you need? Just I need you to be aware of your surroundings and I'll watch my back and not the stuntman from Carl Combat Mage. You don't know I was looking at that. I, I, I couldn't be looking at it. Yeah, okay. All right. End the game. End the game. End the game. All right. Uh, so I'm going to take a look around. Is he in here at all? Uh, you don't see him. Okay. Um, are any of the, uh, the Urban Brawl guys that are on the wall in here? Ooh, good question. Let's find out. Celebrities. Uh, there's one. Yes. All right. Uh, can I approach him? Yeah, he's got some like goons that are around him doing spots, but uh, you can get pretty close. <clears throat> uh, what's his name from the photo? Uh, from the photo, he he's the. Uh, the Red Reaper. All right, uh, I'm gonna use my uh, my voice command to change my voice to I don't know, like it's stereotypical guy from Philly. <laughs> I guess. Okay. Uh, <laughs> sure. Hey, yo, Reaper, you seen Crusher? <laughs> no. Hey, look, I got some Why people. would I waste my time with low newbies? It's exactly what I was saying. Uh, I got a, I got a dude who's looking for him. He says, uh, he says that Crusher is all fake and that all of his fights are fixed. And uh, you know, kind of, kind of wants a, kind of wants a piece of the dude. You know what I mean? Kind of, kind of settle it once and for all whether or not this dude's got the goods. I don't know. He doesn't come at me. He knows better. I know, I know. I mean, I think everybody knows better than the coming Wait, the Reaper. He's Reaper, been talking you... a bunch of dreck about the upcoming match against uh, the Paladins. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think that's a good look for him. I mean, it's that's probably not going to no. end well for him, you know? I, I hope his face gets pounded into the dirt. Yeah, me too. Uh, man, I might even put some new in on that game. I mean, you know where we can find him, <laughs> though? Uh, you know, I, I kind of want to just get this thing handled because I got my friend over here. He's, uh, I don't know. I'm not his keeper. Uh, he tries to show his face in here every once in a while thinking he's some kind of big shot. Uh, he doesn't come around when uh, anybody on the wall is here, though. He knows better. Mm, that's fair. That's fair. It's probably a smart mm. move. You know, kind of. Yeah. Anything else I can do there for you, chum? No, I'm just, I'm just looking for crushing, man. Like that's it. That's all right. That's all right. Hey, here, you, here you go. Throws you a monogrammed towel of his. Oh man, that's awesome. Hey and man, then, thanks, Reaper. And then you go, thanks, Mean Joe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm gonna go ask the old dude. Sure. Um. Vic? I'm, yeah, I'm gonna change my voice again. Okay. And uh, try to like kind of get him off to the sides of it. <laughs> like Reapers guys don't hear like the change in my voice. Mm -hmm. uh, excuse me, sir. Are you the uh, purveyor of this establishment? No, I just dress this way and smoke 16 packs a day because it's good for my health. Indeed, indeed. As I thought. Excellent. Um, I have a lucrative opportunity for one of your up and coming. Uh, gym members, um, one Mr. Crusher, uh, we have a lucrative sponsorship deal that we would like to offer him as well uh, as your uh, facility. Hey, hey come, come on. Whoa. I'm not his manager, okay? I don't I don't deal with any of that direct. You're talking to the wrong person. 
well, can I find his manager? Do you have any contact information for him or... We just need to find I'll Mr. Be, Crusher in order to finalize this sit, deal. Sit right here. I'll be right back. He goes off into the office. He comes back 10, 15 minutes later. Hands you a crumpled up piece of notebook paper. <laughs> oh, there you go. What's on it? It's a phone number. Excellent. Thank you so much. You have yourself a wonderful day, Mr. Vic. Yeah, whatever, kid. All right. Uh, well, I'll, I'll leave. Come on, Zero. Let's go. That guy was so cool. You might have to come by here after this is all said and done. Seems like a good place to get a workout if you're into that kind of thing. Yeah. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I've been reading a lot of uh, self-improvement books recently, trying to, you know, get in the right headspace. Wait, actual books? Well, no, they're like, I may or may not have skimmed through books at some point and recorded it, and then I rewatched the record. It's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. Wow, it's, it sounds pretty rich. Actual paper. Hmm. Yes. Well, I did have that one sheet of paper. You, uh, yeah, whatever happened to that sheet of paper? That's like that's like the most valuable thing in the Barrens. Oh, no. Uh, it, another mystery for another day, I suppose. All right, I'll call the number. All right. Uh, one thing, Loki, are you walking around downtown still with the face of, uh, uh, of uh, Archer Steel, or are you uh, using your, your regular face? Uh, I think I'm using my regular face on this one. I don't think I would run okay. Archer Steel because the amount of attraction that I would, or attention I would attract. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's all I needed to know. Yeah. All right. Um, you call the number? Yeah. Okay. A uh, few rings, a few rings. Picks up. Hello. Uh, hello, I am looking for a Mr. Crusher. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Mr. Crusher is currently indisposed at the moment. Uh, I am his manager. How can I help you? Oh, fantastic. You might be the one that I uh, I would like to uh, see. I have a lucrative sponsorship deal uh, for uh, Mr. Crusher. And uh, we were wondering uh, if uh, uh, we could uh, we could hammer out some details. Uh well, let's get the first important question out of the way. Uh, who do you represent? Ah, that's a, that's a, is an excellent question. I actually represent a, uh, a media organization. Uh, we're, we're a small up-and-coming media organization, uh, but we are Valkyrie News. Uh, we are a uh, we're an as technology subsidiary. Uh, they're trying to do a new rollout here, and uh, one of the things we want to do is do a feature in our sports section with uh, some of the new urban brawl stars. And we noticed Mr. Crusher is up and coming and we'd like him to be the face of our urban brawl segment. Um, we're talking about a possible uh, a possible uh, segment where he uh, can help us with some broadcasting, uh, get a little bit more face time, some brand recognition, uh, in, in addition to uh, ob the obvious new uh, you know, compensation as well for his time. Uh, but we want to get his face out there and kind of have him be the uh, the forward uh, representative of the urban brawl scene for our our new subsidiary network here. Oh, that sounds um, that sounds good. Very uh, very forthright of you. I, I didn't know the PR department was interested in Mr. Crusher uh, this much. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll just confirm the details with uh, HR and the PR department and uh, you can go ahead and give me your employee number and uh, we'll you know, set the uh, time up for an interview. Well, I'd love to be able to do that. However, uh, the instructions that I have from uh, from my department are go make something happen. Uh, there's nothing there's nothing particularly on the books about anything until, you know, I get something solid and get something going for this sports department, uh, which is why I'm coming to you first. Right. Uh, I appreciate your go get them attitude. Uh, it's very good for the PR world, but like I said, we're just gonna have to cross reference, make sure everything checks out before I can okay a face-to-face uh, -face interview. Um, you want to get back to me with that employee number, and I'll uh, check the records here. Be able to make this happen. Sure, no problem. Uh, let me call my boss and make sure that he's going to be okay with somebody confirming anything at this juncture. You know, this is such a preliminary thing that there's... Hey, it's uh, crossing your uh, T's and dotting your I's. Uh, yes, I understand. I understand. All right, well, uh, I'll be in touch. You do that. Click. 
Well, that's a dead end. This is mad at zero. corporate talk. Yeah, yeah, I mean, nothing I can do there. It's... But he did confirm uh, one thing for you. And what's that? Uh, as technology. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> so you at least got you at least got that, yeah. right? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I'm out of ideas. So if he just doesn't show up, I don't know what else to do here. So. Well, they said he was indisposed. Did they clarify how so? Nope. Didn't say how so. Hmm. I mean, well, we still have, assuming he goes to the gym very regularly, mm -hmm. I, as long as we're kind of spread out, you know, it might take a while, but I feel like this is one of the easiest ways we're going to come across him. Just do stakeouts? Yeah. I mean, I reckon. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, Loki, on your way back to the van. Okay. Not my gray van. <laughs> Not my gray van. Uh, two, three, four, five. Okay. Can you and Zero please roll me your reaction at target number four? Both of you may roll me some dodge tests if you want. Uh, both of you um, dive for cover behind a parked car as a speeding car goes by uh, firing pot shots out the window. At in us? In your direction. It's in your direction. Okay. I'm recording this as it's happening. Sure. Do we ever get a, um, a sighting of the like the license plate or anything? Uh, no, it's been spray painted black. Sick, cool. Well, that was interesting. What was that all about, Zero? <laughs> I, I, uh, I swear. You sure Nemo didn't set us up to get geeked in the middle of the streets? I don't know why he would do that. It seems a little odd. That's an expensive geek, too. Yeah, five, five thousand. 5, yeah. All I'm saying is you are very open to trust this guy off of just getting paid. But I am in a place right now where my trust is very finite and it's getting thinner by the day. You trust me, don't you, Zero? We should probably contact the others. Make sure that it's not happening to them as well. You didn't answer my question, Shem. Okay, I'm ringing up. You trust me, don't you? <laughs> uh, you ringing trust old Loki, Flounder. don't you? <laughs> okay, uh, Flounder, you're being called by Zero. Hey, little buddy, what's up? Hey, so uh, we just almost got geeked in a drive-by. Um, what? Where? Uh, at the, what is it? Which is the one we're at? The Break, break your, back? your Back. At the Break Your Back. Uh, we are heading out. Loki was trying to get some intel and trying to lure out Crusher, and as we were leaving, there was a a uh, blacked out vehicle that just took pot shots. Are you following them? Did you get a license plate? The the license plate was marked out, um, but I'm I'm gonna call Kaze and let him know uh, something ain't right about this. Yeah, I can't really pursue. No, we we have our current mission, but we we need to. Uh, Assume that they, these ain't gonna be just casual gym visits. Okay. All right. Just keep Do you heads need up. me to come over? No, we, we need to stay on course for this mission. We gotta find this guy. Okay. I know you can get here in a moment's notice, kid. So, hey, I'll keep you posted. Okay. All right. And I'm gonna hang up and I'm gonna call Kaze. Okay. Yes. Uh, okay, so we, j and I kind of just re-explained the situation about uh, getting shot, coming out of the gym, let Flounder know about it. Uh, and so we got to keep our heads up. Uh, something ain't right about this whole situation, but we, we have no idea who shot at us. What other car, look, what, what type of car was it? What type of car was it? A regular Americar. An Americar. Uh, license plate was blacked out. License plate was what color? Dark green. Dark green. Uh, 
Dark Creek. My God. Yeah, it was Dark Creek. <laughs> okay. All right. Fantastic. I'll be on the lookout. Uh, let you guys know when I find it. Then I hang up on Zero. <laughs> You're just going to zoom so cool. around town yep. trying to find a Dark Green for the car. Yep. All right. Sure. I mean, it's a huge area to search for one particular car. And it doesn't roll out if there's other cars that are going to, or other just people that are going to be involved. Yeah, but if you knew what direction it was heading, it hasn't been very long. The chance of him catching it should be somewhere on the hundred-sided die. Yeah, if it's only within an eight-block radius, you know, I'll cover that pretty quickly in a motorcycle, I would think. Hmm. Okay, go ahead and uh, roll me an intelligence. An intelligence. Yeah, you're looking. Could you pick a better stat for me? <laughs> no. Okay, I just thought I'd ask. Intelligence is the whole perception in perceiving your world. That's fair. How observant you are. Um. Today I'm at 11. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's pretty observant. Hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> um. So you can happen upon a green Americar that's parked in a parking lot. Uh, is the plate blacked out? Doesn't have a plate. Doesn't have a plate. Ah, I see. Uh, okay, I'm gonna call Flounder. Okay. Uh, Flounder, your phone goes off. Kaze is giving you a call. Yeah, what's up? Hey, Flounder, I'm assuming that Zero already called you about the uh, driving incident? He did. I think I may have found the vehicle. Any chance you want to meet me here and we can check it out? Yeah, I'll be right over where you at. Uh, I give him the location for the parking garage that I found it in. Okay. All it's right. only three or four blocks away from you. Okay, I'm gonna wait for him to get here, but I'm gonna like kind of stay at a distance so I can watch the car to make sure that it isn't sure. gonna like leave or anything. Then I'll wait for Flounder to get there. Okay. Doesn't I'm, take him very long to get there. I move quickly. Okay. <laughs> Runs down a few blocks. You can make it there. So, we'll get Flounder and Kaze. Uh, I just found it here. I haven't approached it yet, so I don't know if there's anybody in the vehicle. But I wanted to wait until I at least had someone else here before I went all gung-ho by myself here. Uh, so, I think we yeah. just approach the vehicle and uh, see what we got going on in there. Well, if we approach, then that gives them a chance to, uh, to throw something or to shoot out of it. Um, are 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 they how are they parked in this like parking garage like is there like a park like is the only way for them to get the vehicle out to go back essentially yeah they'd have to reverse it looks like it's actually parked over two spots parked over two spots okay i mean yeah. i if if we want to try to do this smooth i could pull up directly next to it with the bike and then if you want to jump in and try to like get a door want off I don't we want them try to, to do this shoot quick. you. I was just thinking I stand across and throw a rock at the back window. Okay. That works. See if we lure anybody out that might be in the vehicle already. Yep. Okay. That's cool. I'll just pick up a rock. And... I'm going to... The... Thud's off the glass. Nobody gets out. Can I try to, like, stealth? to like the car next to it and see if I can look in to see if there's anybody in the vehicle. Yeah, we'll stealth. Okay. Um, five. <laughs> okay. All right, you can make it up to the, uh, the car. Uh, next to it, look through the windows. Mm -hmm. Doesn't look like there's anybody in there. Okay. I'll just let Flounder know. It doesn't look like there's anybody in here now. Do we just want to try to get into the car and see if we can rummage around and find anything? Sounds good. Uh, All right. I have a stuff for breaking into things. Is that, is that a technical very, term? That's my technical. Yeah. That is the technical <laughs> term for them. Um, uh, would a maglock passkey help me break into a car? No. Okay. Uh, how about a 
I, I'm assuming a keypad sequencer wouldn't do anything because there's no keypad. No, also would not. Uh, all right. Have a keypad it doesn't have a keypad. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, all right. Well, those are my things. So I guess we'll yeah. just do this the old fashioned be way. Be prepared to grab stuff. Uh, move your okay. bike over here close, facing out. And I'm going to break a window. Mask on. I mean, could, okay. could, could, I, could I try to like just like pick a lo pick a lock do you have lock picks i don't think i have lock picks actually mm. uh, i'm fine my, I uh, my oh. next question before causing a, a scene and uh you know bringing attention to yourself did you even try to open the door that's fair this guy bro you should have just let it happen that's I why should i have that's why he gets paid the big bucks okay uh let's try to open the door <laughs> The door is unlocked. Ah, this guy. <laughs> okay, well, good news. Flounder, the door is unlocked. What? As I'm prepared to break the window. <laughs> As he's like, <laughs> ready to imagine. smash yeah, the window. Like, and because I just opened the door. <laughs> uh, okay. I, I pressed the unlock button so it unlocks on his side as well. <laughs> oh. Okay. Wow. All right, you're inside the car. Okay. Uh, I mean, first thing, check golf compartment. Uh, there's, um, the manual, and it looks like there's some unpaid parking tickets, and, uh... Names on the tickets? Yeah, there's names on the tickets. What would that name be? Elizabeth Thomas is the name. Uh, okay. Find an insurance card, also linked to that name. An insurance card. Okay. Um, yep. Can I also take down the VIN number for the car? Do you want to <laughs> pop the hood? Sure. You usually get them in the. Uh, yeah. Do door. they not have like a registration or anything that has it on it? Uh, let's see if the registration's in there. It's the top. Do you want left. evens or odds? Uh, I'll take odds. Registration's not in there. That bastard. That's illegal. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. You don't say. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, Flounder, what do you want pop, to check? Pop the trunk. Sure. Okay. Crusher's uh, in there. <laughs> Crusher's in the trunk. Oh, <laughs> who knew? Are the keys <laughs> in the car? Yes, the keys are in the car. Okay. Um, let's take note of this, the keys being in this car, because if we're going to abduct him, we'll use this car. It's a good call. It won't be comfortable for him, but that's okay. Well, while you guys are investigating the car, mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> a few few moments after after the the shooting, if you guys are you get up, Zero and Loki get up off the ground and dust themselves off. Um, one of Red's goons comes out to you guys out of the gym. Did you see that? Sees you on the ground. <laughs> Sees you on the ground. Wow, what are you guys doing? Man, some dude just trying to geek us. It's a crazy world we live in. It really is. It really is. I can't believe that. Hey, uh, I heard you're looking for that, that crusher guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what you need to do, you might want to check a couple dens. All right. You know what I'm saying? I do, I do. Uh, I'm not really he from this area. To, uh, though, but... He likes to uh, <clears throat> attain inner peace. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what I'm saying? I do, I do. A any any uh, any lead on uh, what area? Are we talking like barons here or what? <sighs> nah. Last I heard, he goes... Uh, he goes to the uh, <clears throat> the Yachties, the Triads. Okay. For what they got. Okay. He uses their places. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. I think I can work something. Hey, man. Really appreciate the heads he's up. Pretty, he's pretty prominent. So ask around. They'll probably point you in the right direction. All right. I appreciate the heads up. Thanks for the hey, intel, Chummer. Whatever you're doing to get this guy. Give him one for me. Hey, you got it. All right. Heads back inside. 
All right, I'll call everybody else up. I'm going to mass okay. call. Everybody's getting a mass call as you're ransacking a car. <laughs> oh, Except for Zero, because yeah. he's right next to you. Ant answer real quick. Uh, so I think I have a, a lead, gentlemen. Uh, it seems that our chummer fellow here, uh, he, uh, well, he's a little bit of a chip head. And uh, I believe that our contacts with the Yakuza might be able to point us in the right direction of the dens where he frequents his uh, illicit activities, shall we say. Um, so you, I'm going to... You want to spring the car? What car? What car? We found the car. No, I don't want you to bring the rolling crime scene. I'm just saying. It's a car that we can get rid of pretty easily. Look, Flounder, if you want to drive around in that thing, feel free. Oh, I was just going to run, but okay. Well, then, Kaze is on a bike. Who's bringing the car? That's fair. Good point. That's why I'm the brains of the operation. But I'm gonna I'm gonna give a call to our guy. I think uh, I think uh, this uh, this operation that we have right here has uh, ex exhausted its usefulness. So uh, we can all head back to wherever it is you would prefer to be, and we'll try to make contact with our contacts in the Yakuza and see if they can point us in the right direction. And then I guess I'll uh, I'll call up our. Uh, our Yakuza friend. I still never got that guy's name. He's never given me no, his he's, name. He's never has. Yeah, he's he's never given me his name. Uh, but I'll, nope. I'll call him up. Sure. Uh, you get the uh, rings a few times. You get a polite reply. Yes, Mr. Loki. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time to, uh, to answer my phone call. I believe we have some some business we need to, uh, to finish here soon. Uh, yes, you have... Uh my man to introduce to your purveyor. Indeed, indeed. I was simply waiting for for the word from you to uh, to make that happen. We can go down whenever we would like. Uh, I have an individual that is ready. Okay, excellent. Um, you have some other business to attend to? I do. I, uh, I have a, a quick question. Uh, I'm on an additional job right now, and uh, there is somebody we are looking for who may frequent one of your establishments. Uh, the kind of establishment that would provide the type of product that we have been uh, discussing previously. There are many of such locations. Indeed, but only one individual. This individual happens to be... Uh, one of the up-and-coming stars in the urban brawl scene goes by the I name of Crusher. If you could, perhaps... Do you have around? a photograph? I do, I do. Um, do I... Send me that and the name of the person that I will make inquiries. Thank you so much. Uh, I will be in contact uh, tomorrow to take care of this uh this trip we have to take and excellent thank you so much for your time today i will be contacting you shortly with that information good hangs up the phone and i gotta go back and get a picture of this guy you have one in the dossier yeah but it's back at the house yeah, it's back at your place yeah i gotta go back there and like <laughs> take a screenshot with my phone and then like <laughs> Well, is there anything else anybody else wants to do? I think that's that's all we can do here. I mean, unless you guys have something you want to do with that car. I don't. <laughs> um. Bef <laughs> well, I mean, I think I uh, we have the information for the person that it's linked to, which is the main thing that I was trying to find. Um. Mm -hmm. With uh, did uh, by the way, did Flounder find anything in the trunk? Uh, no, there's, I, there's I, I feel like we made and, uh... the joke about him crusher beat in the trunk already <laughs> that we never actually. No, uh, okay. he's not, there's nothing in the trunk. There's the there's a spare tire and um, like the uh, the jack kit for the car. Okay, I, I think we should call Sam. Call Sam to see if we could get him to come pick it up or. 
Yeah, because we could change the color on it and then just put some fake plates on it and literally have a spare car. That's fair. Under someone else's name. That is fair. Um, real quick, I want to check under the seats in the front and the back just to see if there was anything that got thrown in there. Or anything... Uh, note. The only thing that you're able to come up with are two bullet casings. Two bullet casings. Okay, that sounds like what we'd expect. Okay, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I agree with Flounder on this. I'll call Sam. Okay. Couple rings, guy. Ah, uh, hey, hey, Kaze. What can I do for you? Hey, Sam. Uh, got a vehicle here that was involved in uh some illicit affairs concerning me and my cohorts, uh, but we're thinking that it might be nice to have as a uh, get-around-town vehicle, currently plateless. I uh, was wondering if you could come pick it up for us and get it in the shop, and uh, I'll be over later this evening, and we can kind of talk out plans on that. Uh, yeah, yeah I, I suppose I could grab it for you. Shoot me the location. We'll do. Uh, vehicle, also, keys are already in the car, so uh, we'll go ahead and just Leave the door unlocked for you. Yeah, that sounds good. All right. Thank you, Sam. No problem. All right. I'll hang up and I'll shoot up the location for the car. Okay. I really like how you didn't mention that it was just used in drive-by shooting. I said that it was used in illicit affairs concerning me <laughs> and my cohort. Uh, mm-hmm. There's so much that mm-hmm. can be linked to, but okay. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's, yeah. it's fine. Sam Everything fine. is fine. Sam will be fine. Sam is always fine. No, nothing bad ever happens to people's contacts in Shadowrun. Sam is nope, a consummate a professional. <laughs> He is a consummate professional. Uh-huh, yeah. All right, well, sure I'll is. get on the on my bike and go to meet back up with Loki and Zero. All right, All right is everybody meeting back up at Jotunheim? I think so, yeah. Okay. I believe that is the plan. Well, all right, everybody will reconvene at uh, Jotunheim. Uh... Do you share those uh, bullet casings with them that you found? Or are you going to hold on to them? Uh, I'll give one of them to Zero. I'll hold on to the other one. Zero, please roll me a uh, a willpower test while you're inspecting the bullet. Target number five. Bro, Zero has so many like weird flashback things he gets from everything. <laughs> one? one? Okay. <laughs> So you kind of just stop and you're staring at the casing and uh, your mind flashes back to this point of you're you're in a hangar uh, and you're surrounded by three or four other guys all in uh, black jumpsuits with gear and you're all kind of talking and laughing and you're looking down and you're loading these rounds into a magazine. Okay. And then you snap back to everybody uh, standing around you. You guys just watch him zone out as he's staring at this thing intently. Like, it's gonna read him a, a how-to book. <laughs> <laughs> so, so can I identify, like, what gun this is for? Yes, you can. I was so happy you guys got the casings. Also, <laughs> can I can I get like a handy little laminate with all of the list of triggers for zero printed on it so we know what to <laughs> look out for? Going uh, the thing is, the it's an ongoing, so we can't get it laminated. <laughs> oh, okay, I got you. Got That's yeah. uh, updated uh, periodically. Very frequently. Okay, fair, fair. Uh, all right, zero, bullet casings they... right underneath. Carl Combat uh, Mage. You know that the uh, the casings here can be used in. Um, <clears throat> a standard issue uh, cost infantry handgun. Sick. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. So, so it's military grade? Mm-hmm. Sick. <laughs> oh, cool. Uh, I love how, like, everybody immediately thought that they, like it was something about me. <laughs> 
<laughs> you got a shootable face. <laughs> oh my you god! Shoot, oh, you have a shootable. Face. Oh. That's a, more of a compliment than anything. He's not. He's not wrong. I feel like though a big weight was just lifted off Loki's back right there. Like, oh god, it's all related to me. Thank God. A little bit. A little bit. It's it's also kind of narcissistic to think that you think that we think it's about you. <laughs> well, no, somebody <laughs> said more something. About somebody said something like, uh, I, see, I, I, see. "I think you said like they were shooting at me or something." All I'm saying is it's very in keeping with Loki <laughs> to be like, "Oh, thank God, wow. it's not about me this time." Uh, <laughs> but um, okay, so, gotta give Zero more puzzle pieces. So uh, whoever did this, they're back in military hardware. I'm assuming you didn't find much in the vehicle. No, we didn't find anything else in the vehicle. Also, if there's anything of note, Sam will let us know. I had him take the vehicle. I figure worst case scenario, we can retrofit it and have it available as a uh, vehicle for us to be able to drive around in. That's not the battle wagon. So yeah, it's lining. So it's over at Sam's right now. So if you know any place that we may have missed a try looking for anything, we could go over to Sam's and you can take a once over on the vehicle too to see if you could find anything that me and Flounder may have missed. The way I see it, it was a bit of a burner. Mm -hmm. It's just meant to do one job. Job was done, moved on. That way we can't trace it back. Right. I mean, do you know anybody by the name of Elizabeth Thomas? Do I know anyone by the name of Elizabeth Thomas? Mr. GM? Uh, I, no. I have yeah, not nah, nah. Okay, that's if anything, it's it's probably just an alias. Okay, well, that's we well we found some parking tickets in the uh, glove box that were under that name, and I was kind of assuming that this probably was her vehicle, and it just got lifted for whatever the job was, because uh, the way that it was parked definitely seemed like somebody parked it and ditched it in a hurry, because it was double parked across two spots. So I'm assuming somebody just parked it, hopped out, didn't really care what happened to the vehicle after that. So yeah, and if anything, it it might be a bit of a to throw you off the trail a bit by us pursuing this further. But I, I can call someone and uh, run the name by them. But other than that, uh... okay. Yeah, I mean, if you want to see what you can dig up, I was gonna call AJ and see if they could give us any info on this person. But if you got someone to look into it for us, you know, we still owe AJ a favor. So don't really want to call in more work. Uh, yeah, to I get still that don't know what that person would call in for favors so it's kind of an ominous cloud overhead oh yeah that's coming from getting shot at today yeah that's totally fair i mean yeah. i had to i had to deal with lone star tonight all right so really yeah, lone star. <laughs> yeah he was a nice guy <laughs> i don't any think problems. any of us would have been as lucky aside from Lone Star. <laughs> but uh do we have any leads on this guy on the the one we're supposed to be well, uh, I, yeah, as I as I mentioned on the call before, uh, mm -hmm. he definitely likes his chips, and uh, mm -hmm. you know we're gonna find him at his favorite Mexican restaurant eating his chips and salsa. If you get my meaning? Uh, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Oh, so he likes the frequent confused. taco temple. I assumed you were talking about a taco temple as well. Mm -hmm. No, this is a. Definitely not a taco temple. You probably uh, wouldn't want to eat that. Well, the the tip that I got, the the lead that we have, uh, says mm -hmm. that he likes uh, Yakuza dens, and I'm sure that they're not broadcasting their location all over the Matrix, chum. And we just happen to have a connection with said yaks. But you mentioned that. that I already have a call out to them. They're working on it right now. In fact, and I'll take a picture of the uh, the guy guy's dossier and text it to our our nameless okay. associate. Sure. We got to come uh, up with a name for him, guys. I believe his name is Mr. Yak. That's what I've been calling him. I've been wow. having him in my contacts as Yak Attack. Um, I don't uh, even have his number. Uh -huh. but I just was like, okay, whenever I get this guy's number. Wow. I thought it was I thought it was Iraq Obama, but I can't I I can't even. All right. Um so you sent the picture, you've got all that, you've got the information. Uh the guy did tell you that he enjoys his uh tranquility. 
Uh, and any one of you can roll. A, does anybody have any kind of background in narcotics? Mm. No. Mm-mm. Do you have street? Anybody have like street knowledge? Hang on, I think I got some of that. Uh, okay. Let's see. I've got um, well, gang turf and gang identification probably won't help. Criminal organizations and local neighborhood. Mm. I have conspiracy theories. <laughs> Doesn't really help you. <laughs> Go figure that you well, have What a shock. Of course you do, Zero. Of course you have conspiracy I'd be more surprised theories. if you didn't have that. <laughs> At this it's point. one of my highest intelligence skills. <laughs> um, you know what? It is my highest. You know what? I'm going to bypass this entire check and uh, go upstairs and ask the doctor. Mm. Oh, sure. Okay. So you ask the doc about tranquility and what? inner peace. Uh, <laughs> he's going to look at you. And, do you mean meditating or you mean some someone? No, I mean oh. drugs, doctor. Oh, or chips. Wow, if you're talking drugs, the only one I can think of uh, that refers to inner peace is uh, Zen. Mm. Mm. Although, how that brings you inner peace, I have no idea. Well, I mean, it probably turns your innards to pieces. Um, well, it's a high-grade hallucinogen, so go figure. Okie dokie. Well, thank you very much for uh, your help with that. I'm here for my expertise. I know. You're doing a great job, too. By the way, if there's anything you need, you just you let old Loki know. and I've, I've got everything. It. Only thing I need is this power. That's it. All right. We're actually working on that right now. Okay. Okay, bye. You, you let me know when that's set. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, all right, bye. Uh, and then... Uh, <laughs> I think we can wrap up here the evening with uh, an incoming call from a maging. And that's where we'll end. Welcome back, Tremors. Are you all as excited as I am for a real potential brawl? It has me absolutely salivating over the opportunity. Make sure you like and subscribe to know exactly when that goes down. And if you're looking for a slightly different change of pace, then maybe check out this video over here with the other crew to see how they handle things.